Today we had a high temperature, is about 56 degrees in Alpena, 60 in Harrisville. Quite cool for most spots near Lake Huron. On uh, the other side of a boundary that stalled uh, just in the middle of our area, we had some much warmer temperatures. Highs today reached 75 in Mayo, 82 degrees in West Branch. And you can see here in the yellow, just about where that boundary was, dividing temperatures in the 50s from temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Near this boundary, right through our area, we did see a few isolated showers through with this afternoon. As I mentioned, today's highs reached 56 degrees. That is much colder than the normal of 70, and the record of 93 was set in 2011. We started off with some chilly temperatures earlier this morning. We had a low of 37 degrees, colder than the normal of 45. And at this hour, we are continuing to see a few showers pushing off towards the south and east. Most of these showers are originating to the west of I-75, and from that point, they are drifting southeastward. And you can see here over the last couple of images here, the showers are pretty scattered in nature. So we are not getting any widespread soaking rain, but if you hit and miss showers through this evening, we'll see a gap of some drier air into the morning and then a few more showers will become possible into the afternoon. High temperatures across the Midwest today only got up to 56 in Alpena. Again, on the other side of that boundary, we've seen temperatures as high as the upper 80s, highs of 88 degrees in Green Bay, 88 in Minneapolis. But all of this heat is getting pushed to the south. We will be getting some cooler temperatures out of the north moving in for our area this weekend. So as I mentioned, we will see a chance of showers in the afternoon and evening tomorrow. Our coldest day in the forecast will be coming up on Sunday. Then next week, our temperatures will be on the warming trend heading into the 70s by the time we get into Tuesday. For this evening, still a chance for a few spotty showers around the area. Tomorrow morning likely starts off with some dry weather, but into the afternoon, we could be seeing a few more showers moving through and also a round of showers during tomorrow evening that moves off to the east and most of Sunday is looking dry for our area. If you're heading out to any of the high school baseball and softball games that are happening in Atlanta, mostly cloudy skies up until the afternoon, then we'll see a chance of showers with high temperatures about 66 degrees over in Traverse City. The showers will likely arrive a little bit earlier, so as early as midday, we could be seeing a chance of showers in Traverse City. Morning temperatures in the upper 50s reaching 68 degrees around 2 p.m. and the winds generally Generally quite light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures dropping off in Traverse City during the late afternoon. On our extended forecast, the morning likely starts with some dry weather. Temperatures near 50 degrees in the morning, then a slightly higher chance for some showers in the afternoon to high temperatures about 63 degrees, and then it dropping into the lower 50s for tomorrow evening. Early on Sunday, waking up to about 43 degrees. Highs only getting up to 59 with partly cloudy skies. A little bit in the way of stronger winds on Sunday as well. For Monday, mostly sunny. High temperatures around 62 degrees up to 70 on Tuesday with a mix of sun and clouds. Then we have a chance to see some showers, maybe some thunderstorms on Wednesday. But we've got a few days here with high temperatures in the lower 70s for Wednesday. Also for Thursday and Friday. And for Thursday and Friday of next week, we are looking at mostly sunny skies.